Live, deep in the heart of West Texas, it's the James Hendricks Show, coming to you from the Hendricks Center for Advanced Conservative Federalist Studies. No diplomas, no exams, just learning. It is Fearless Faith Friday. That's right, we get to have a break from the news. How many of you are probably sick of, you know... We got to talk about some of the things that are important, okay? What's more important than Hunter Hunter Biden's laptop? I know a lot of people are intrigued by that. I know in my day, when I was going to college, it was Whitewater. I could never understand what it was. I thought it was just some legal attorney-style scam that uh, Bill and Hillary Clinton had pulled off. Um, later found out it was a real estate scam. But what's more important than Hunter's laptop and critical race theory and all that, all that mess? Well, I'll tell you what it is. How about us going to home each night and holding our families tight? Hmm? And granted, okay, I don't have, I don't have a, a, uh, family of my own, but I still believe in the centrality of, of family and Heavenly Father's plan. Okay, it's, it's a big part of me, what I have to say. And so, I'm just going to make this as kind of a little, little rant. I want you guys to forgive me. Now, it's a, not a reactive rant. It's more of a proactive rant. Rant. Uh, rant. Okay. Now, most of you, you, you've listened to me over, over the, over the past, shoot, I think I started in October, it was Frontline News with Brent, and then I, I took over, because it would make it more authentic. <laughs> Some people say, well, you, you, you know, you need to have your own show with your own name, and, and it was divided. Some people say, you need to have a show with your own name, and some people saying no. Some people saying no, well, <laughs> I'm just going to say what I believe. Guys, we got kids being indoctrinated with some perverse things. Okay? Things that the founding fathers would have never in a million years buy into. I think it's time. Listen to me, listen to me. I'm doing this in accordance to plain truth. All right? I think it's time. We kick secularism to the curb. And go back to this. Go back to the Bible. Go back to the scriptures. All right? That's what what America was founded upon. So many people have so many ideas on how to bring forth... uh, conservatism and many of them unfortunately are reactive and being a Bible based Christian I know that that's not what our Lord Jesus Christ calls us to to do be and have that's not what he calls us to do be and have this episode um, really uh the, the main thing I can think to call it is uh, Have Faith, the Truth Squad. I, I am a member of the Truth Squad here at the James Henry Empowerment Network. And let me tell you something. We're going we're gonna to preach the truth. We're going to tell the truth the way it should be. Now, I know some people, you know, they want to listen to a daily political podcast to give the digest of the news. For the most part, I am that. But I also see that there's times I also see that there's times that uh, also see that there's times that we need to call for a less reactive culture. We need to call for more faith. You know, it's one thing that takes me off is you know 
Big Tech taking advantage of the situation. They need to be held more accountable. Because sometimes we have our secret spaces in life. And wokeism has gotten away. Okay, it's time to toss away secularism, kick it to the can. It's time to go back to the Bible. Time to go back to the way things ought, ought to be. All right? Because I'll be honest with you. How many of you listen to me and you're, and you're, you're fed up? You, you listen to the news on both sides of the aisle? You're fed up because it's more of the same. I always try to have the news from a different slant because my program, the James Hendricks Show, is about one thing. And that is in search of pursuit of the truth. That's right. I'm the truth squad. I'm the truth squad. Squad. Um, I have a brother podcast I want to recommend to you that's also the truth squad. And that podcast is called Praying for a Hurting World with Father Michael and Father Michael's Ministries. Okay? I want you to listen to him. Because if we could get more people back to Christ and away from this secularist, socialist nonsense, but the better off we're going to be. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Some of you is like, Jimmy, this wasn't meant to be a preaching school show. Okay, I understand that. I give you a digest of, 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 of the stuff for sometimes five days a week. Of the seven. I believe that their people should be entitled to at least two days. Where they're not talking about so much of the, the, the crap that's gone on, okay? We've had enough. Now, I know, I know that sounds harsh. I know that sounds harsh, but I have to say this. This big elitist and corporations trying to tell us how we, we educate our kids. We, 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 as individuals and parents, we don't have to put up with this. I'd have to say that common sense is returning. But we need to see more of a common sense of return. How about a return back to the Bible, for heaven's sake? A return back to the Bible. You may say, Jimmy, come on. Now listen to me. This is your weapon against fear. What I'm holding in my hand, what's sitting in my lap, is your biggest weapon against fear. And so you, you, you better pay attention. You better pay attention because I'm going to tell you something right now. If you listen too much to the news, you're going to be afraid. If you listen too much to this reactive culture that what's what it wants, you're going to be afraid. Maybe even filled with hate. Do you want that? Do you want these people controlling your lives and, and your family's lives? Now, I know, okay, normally I'm, I'm, I'm cheery. And, and, and I want to be cheery. But when you have the confirmation of Kachinzi uh, Jackson Brown to the Supreme Court, it just really makes me wonder where's common sense in our Congress? <laughs> Time to make some changes here. There have been times this week, I have to be honest with you, there have been times this week that I have felt so disgruntled that I've taken a week, a day or so from reporting the news because I've been so discouraged. So how many of you are going to sit there and, and mess with that? Okay? Listen. Our faith and our families is something that Nobody needs to be messing around with. Especially not those dang woke, woke people. Now I know it's, it's, it's going to be hard. <laughs> I'm probably going to get censored for this. But I'm, I'm going to say my piece. We have been played. We as American people, because our rights have been stripped away, once by one, 
We've been played. And so it's time to stand up and say, uh, uh, plain truth here is to say this. No more. Okay, knock it off. I've had enough. Stop it. I'm done. Time to throw out secularism. Bring back belief in orthodoxy. Please, while we still have a chance. While we still have a chance. Do you want to play, do you want government and large corporates to play with your life and your family's life? Or do you want to just gather together as people in this conservative counter-revolution and take things back? But through the eyes of faith. Okay? That's what's been missing. That's what's been missing all these years. That's why I'm a conservative federalist. And now I hope you enjoy listening to the James Hendricks Show. If you like what you hear, please subscribe. Become a part of receiving most daily updates. This is uh, Jimmy Hendricks saying until next time, take care and become proactively informed. Go out there. But please, attend church or your house of worship this weekend. Because it will be very blessed if you do. Take care. God bless.